they're up. That's relaunch getting the early lead. Arco on the inside, second by ahead, and John Henry is racing third. Flying Paster moves fourth on the outside. Balzac between horses, followed by Silver Eagle and Golden Axe. Down the hill, it's relaunch in front by a length. John Henry is second. Flying Paster on the outside, third. And Arco on the inside rail is fourth at this point. Golden Act on the outside, fifth. Across the main track and to the top of the stretch for the first time. Relaunch in front, three parts of a length. John Henry is second. Flying Paster, racing far away from the rail, is now third. Arco on the inside, fourth. Balzac is fifth by two. Golden Act, Silver Eagle. It's relaunch in front by one. John Henry is second a length and a quarter. And Flying Paster on the outside is third. Arco moves through on the rail, fourth by a head. Balzac is fifth. Then Golden Act on the outside and Silver Eagle. Racing to the back stretch. Relaunch has the lead by a length. John Henry second. Flying Paster on the outside, third by a head. Arco fourth along the rail, and Balzac fifth ahead, Golden Act, Silver Eagle. They continue down the back stretch with relaunch, showing the way three parts of a length. John Henry second, Flying Paster on the outside, and Arco on the rail. Those four are now tightly bunched. And Balzac racing fifth ahead. Golden Act is sixth on the outside, and Silver Eagle. Around the far turn. It's relaunch in front by half a length. John Henry second, Arco third, flying paster on the outside, Balzac fifth. Silver Eagle on the inside and Golden Act. They turn for home. It's relaunch on the rail, holding on to the lead by a head. John Henry second. On the outside, Balzac now third. Arco on the rail, then Silver Eagle looks for racing room between horses. Flying paster drops back. Coming to the wire, John Henry takes the lead. It's John Henry. And John Henry wins it with Darrell McHarg by a length and a quarter. The flag is up. And they're off. Obrazzo V on the far outside going for the lead with John Henry toward the inside. First prayer moves quickly. And now first prayer takes the lead. Henschel between horses moving through. John Henry on the inside. Now out of the dip. John Henry getting to the front three parts of a length. With Henschel on the outside second, Fiestero races third. First prayer is fourth. Obratsov fifth by five. Balzac is sixth. After that, it's Karuba in seventh position. The very one on the inside is eighth. Golden Act is ninth at this point. Silver Eagle on the outside racing tenth. And Look Fast is eleventh. Down the hill. John Henry has the lead by a length and a quarter with Henschel on the outside second, Fiestero on the rail third, over the main track and to the top of the stretch for the first time. John Henry in command by a length and a half. Henschel on the outside second. That's first prayer third by a hit. Fiestero on the inside fourth by three and a half. Then Obratsovi toward the rail. Balzac on the outside, the very one, Golden Act. Silver Eagle racing ninth. Look fast. And Karuba. First three quarters of a mile in a very quick one minute nine and four fifth seconds. And around the clubhouse turn, John Henry has the lead by a length and three quarters with Henschel in second position up on the outside. First prayer, third by a half. Fiestero on the inside, fourth by a length and a half. Then Obratsovi races fifth. There goes Golden Act moving on the outside, sixth. Balzac, seventh. The very one is eighth. Then Silver Eagle, ninth, followed by Look Fast and Karuba. We could have a track record here today. And down the back stretch with John Henry in front now by one length. From between horses, Henschel, and here comes Obratsovi moving boldly. It's John Henry in front, three parts of a length. Obratsovi now second by a head, and Henschel on the outside is racing third. Fiestero fourth along the inside, Balzac fifth. Then Golden Act on the outside, look fast. The mayor of the very one closing strongly. After that, it's Silver Eagle with first prayer dropping back, and Karuba turning for home. 
John Henry holds on to that lead by one. On the outside, here comes Golden Act. Fiestero toward the rail of Bratzevi and Henschel. On the far, far outside, it's the very one. Now through the stretch, John Henry holding on to that lead by two. Fiestero second. Here comes Look Fast on the rail, but it's John Henry holding on to the lead. John Henry in front. Daryl McClark aboard John Henry wins the San Juan Capistrano. And they're off. And Kaderman takes the early lead. Shagbark is right alongside. There goes Ball Tropic now in front, followed by Fast and John Henry. The leader is Ball Tropic by two lengths. Shagbark in second by three quarters of a length. Fast is third by three quarters of a length. Then Kaderman on the inside is fourth, a neck. John Henry on the outside is fifth by three lengths. Super moment sixth. Garrido, Balzac, Golden Act, and Parliament trails. In the run down the stretch the first time, it's Ball Tropic in front by two lengths. Shagbark in second by a length and a half. Then Caterman is third by a neck. Fast on the outside, fourth a length and a half. John Henry is fifth. Then back to Garrido, Super Moment, Golden Act, Parliament, and Balzac trails. On the clubhouse turn, it's Ball Tropic in front by one length. Shagbark is second by a neck. John Henry has moved up to third. Katerman is coming back between horses and takes third with Fast on the outside, now fourth. Then John Henry close up his fifth. A gap of six lengths back to Golden Act, moving up. Garrido, Super Moment, Powerment, and Balzac. On down the backstretch, Ball Tropic in front by a half length. Shagbark in second by a neck. Katerman is third ahead, Fast on the far outside in fourth by one. Then it's John Henry in fifth by three lengths. Super moment sixth. Golden Act on the outside. Powerment, Balzac, and finally Ganito. Coming on the far turn, Ball Tropic has it by three lengths. Fast in second ahead. Golden Act is coming up on the outside in third. Then Kaderman and Shagbark. As they straighten away in the stretch, the leader is Ball Tropic by four lengths. Golden Act is into second by one length. John Henry switches to the inside and now takes over second. Balzac on the far outside. John Henry is rolling by on top. The flag is up. They're off in the big cap. Toward the inside, that's Premier Ministra going for the lead. Krasowitz charges up between horses. Doonesbury now toward the inside, followed by Always Best, passing the stands for the first time. That's Krasowitz on the outside in front by half a length. In the middle of the track, here comes King Gogo -Go charging up second. Doonesbury along the inside is third. Flank Paster moves on the outside fourth. Always Best is fifth between horses. Premier Ministra sixth along the inside. John Henry is seventh. Then it's Glorious Song Racing eighth. Mike Fogarty on the inside is ninth. And then a gap of four lengths back to the trailers. Super moment on the rail and exploded on the outside 11th. Going to the back stretch, heads apart on the front end. It's Krasowitz on the inside. King Gogo challenges from the outside. Those two match strides as they straighten away down the back stretch. Now King Gogo to the front by a head. Krasowitz on the inside, second. Doonesbury is right there, third. And Flying Paster on the outside, fourth. John Henry inches up a bit on the inside, fifth by half a length. Premier Ministra sixth by two. Then it's always best racing, seventh. Glorious Song, the mare on the inside is eighth. Mike Fogarty races ninth, exploded, and Super Moment far back. Around the far turn, King Gogo takes the lead, Doonesbury second, and John Henry moves through on the rail, right there third. Flying Paster on the outside, moving up fourth, followed by Always Best and Glorious Song, a quarter of a mile to go. It's King Gogo on the inside. Between horses, John Henry, Flying Paster on the outside, and Always Best, and down the stretch they come. John Henry on the outside gets to the front ahead. King Gogo on the inside, second, Flying Paster third. Coming into the final 16th of a mile, it's John Henry getting to the front by one length. John Henry. 
The flag is up, and they're off in the inaugural running of the Arlington Million. Match the hatch on the inside. Now it's key to contend going right to the lead. Kilajaro second, the Bart between horses. Third, Super Moment down along the rail. Match the hatch. John Henry on the outside and Petit Tut. Here they are passing the stands the first time. Key to contend hugs the rail. The Bart right alongside in second. Uh, Petit Tut is three wide in third. Uh, match the hatch down along the rail. Fourth, Super Moment in fifth. Madam Gay six, Kilajaro alongside seven. John Henry shuffle three wide to eighth argument. Down along the rail, nine, Fingles Cave Racing in 10th, followed now by Mrs. Penny. Rossi Gold is 12th and last, but they're fairly well bunched. About seven furlongs to run in the race, and Key Content shows the way. Key to Content, bouncing along now, three parts of a length to the outside. Uh, the Bart right alongside in second, match the hatch in third on Nick. Then on the outside, that is Petit Tet Racing now, fourth, two and a half. Madam Gay skims the rail in fifth, Kilajaro Racing six super moment between horses seven, John Henry uh, down along the rail, Racing eight by two, argument in ninth, Fingo's Cave tenth, Rossi Gold, and Mrs. Penny. Uh, they're still fairly well bunched, they hit for the half mile marker, they have to catch Key to Content. Key to Content has it three parts of a length, the Burke right alongside in second, and there goes the filly, uh, Madam Gay charging through along the rail third, match the head, stopping back in for John Henry, uh, scoots through along the rail now, fifth super moment, out there six, and Rossi Gold is also on the move, uh, around the fire turn they go, uh, the Bart racing strongly on the outside, puts his head in front, Key to Content down along the rail, second by three, Madam Gay, losing ground now in third, match the hatch in fourth, John Henry and Rossi Gold, here they come spinning out of the turn, the Bart has it now by two lengths, Madam Gay driving strongly in second, Key to Content comes back along the rail, here's John Henry closing ground, followed by match the hatch, the Bart under a heavy whip, John Henry is charging, John Henry on the outside, the Bart down along the rail, Madam Gay, the Bart digs in under the whip, and the final move by John Henry, the Bart is still there. Keen split him, but Bart, or is it John Henry on the outside? And they're off. Summing between horses, Joni's chief on the rail with Heck Zotto moving up very quickly. Heck Gazzato on the inside gains the lead, but Amber Pass on the outside is right alongside in second. Summing is third, then Noble Nashua, Silverbuck, then John Henry, Joni's chief, and our Captain Willie. Then it's Temperance Hill relaxing, and a Pete Moss into the clubhouse turn. Heck Gazzato on the rail has the lead by about a neck. Then Amber Pass on the outside, second by a length. Noble Nashua, the one-mile record holder, is in third by a length and a half. Summing on the rail in fourth by a neck. John Henry on the outside with Shoemaker in fifth. Then two back. It is Silver Buck, then Joni's Chief, followed by our Captain Willie Temperance Hill, relaxing the mare, and Pete Moss. The first quarter in 23 and 4, it is a fast pace, as Vasquez sends Heckazado down the backstretch in front by only a head. And now on the outside, Hernandez sends Noble Nashua alongside. Between those two, it's Amber Pass in third, right there in third. Two back is Summing on the inside, and on the outside is John Henry. Heckazado still has a lead by a neck. Amber Pass now second by a head. Noble Nashua has dropped back only inches in third. Summing is now gaining ground on the rail. This is a repeat of the Belmont Stakes. Summing now joining the leader as they race down the back stretch. Summing on the rail now takes the lead by a head. Heck Zotto on the outside second by a half. Amber Pass is third by a length and a half. Noble Nashua back into fourth. And John Henry, Joni's chief and Silver Buck with a mare relaxing. Into the far turn the half in 48 flat. Three quarters, 112 and three. The mile in 36 and three. It is Summing leading the way by about a half. Heck Zotto is second on the outside. Amber pass alongside in third by two. Then John Henry, Noble Nashua, and Silver Buck with relaxing. They're beginning to bunch behind the leader as Summing leads into the stretch by about two lengths. On the outside, it is Silver Buck with John Henry gaining ground gradually on Summing as they hit the top of the stretch. The mile and the quarter in 202 and one, a tremendous pace as they hit the stretch. Summing still has a lead by ahead, but Shoemaker now sends John Henry on the outside. John Henry has taken the lead. Summing back into second, gaining ground on the outside. Silverbuck and the mare relaxing. Relaxing now takes second. Silverbuck is third, and Pete Moss, the long shot, is gaining ground. John Henry, Pete Moss now a race to the wire. John Henry on the inside is Pete Moss. The flag is up. They're off. For the lead, it's 
the Bart. Super moment on the inside is second. John Henry in third and Spence Bay fourth exploded fifth. Perot sixth. And finally, Dom Dalbignac. On the turn, super moment on the inside in front. By a neck with the Bart right alongside in second by two and John Henry follows in third by a length and a half. Perot between horses exploded on the rail, Spence Bay, and finally Dom Dalbignac as they enter the stretch for the first time. Now John Henry has the lead, it's John Henry on the inside by a length. With the Bart and Super Moment on the outside, second and third, followed by Perot in fourth, exploded his fifth. Spence Bay next and Don Del Binyak under the wire the first time. The leaders are right together with John Henry on the inside and the Bart on the outside. Then it's three lengths back to Perot in third by a length and a half. Super moment and exploded. Spence Bay between those two. And finally, Don Del Binyak. Moving to the back stretch. John Henry by three parts of a length. The Bart continues in second by three lengths. On the outside, Super Moment. On the inside, Perot and Spence Bay moves up, followed by Exploded and Dom Del Bignac. As the field races for the far turn, it's John Henry in front by one length. The Bart in second by a neck. Super Moment on the outside, third by three quarters. Perot in fourth, with Spence Bay up on the outside by two followed by Exploded and Dom Dalbignac. Midway on the far turn, John Henry's lead is just a neck. Super moment up on the outside, closer in second, and there goes Spence Bay rallying on the extreme outside third as the Bart drops back to fourth, and they're in the stretch. John Henry and Spence Bay coming on the outside. They're right together with Spence Bay ahead in front. John Henry on the rail in second by three. Then back to Super Moment and the Bart. Battling for the lead nearing the wire. Spence Bay and John Henry on the rail is coming back. The flag is up. And they're off. Toward the inside, Sir Dancer going for the lead. It's the one along the inside in second. And then comes High Council racing third. Score 24 is fourth. That's Perrault, fifth between horses, followed on the outside by Dorcaro. Then it's Bearcat on the outside. King Gogo moves up, passing the stands for the first time. Sir Dancer leads by two and a half lengths. It's the one, second to length and three quarters. High Council on the rail, third by ahead. King Gogo on the outside is fourth. With Perrault moving fifth along the inside a half. Bearcat sixth on the outside by two. Score 24 is racing seventh by a length. Dorcaro back to eighth. Then it's Super Moment, ninth along the inside. John Henry is 10th, and Providential races 11th. Straightening away down the backstretch. Sir Dancer in front by one as King Gogo charges up on the outside. High Council at the rail, right there third. It's the one between them. Those four tightly bunched. A gap of three lengths, and Bearcat on the outside races fifth by a head. Perot along the rail, followed by John Henry and Super Moment. Going to the far turn. On the outside, it's Sir Dancer in front ahead as High Council finds room and moves through at the rail. And there goes, it's the one. Three of them across the track with three eighths of a mile to go. It's the one on the outside, High Council at the rail, Sir Dancer right there third. Then King Gogo fourth. Along the inside, Perot is fifth. Between horses, Super Moment moving up sixth. John Henry between horses gaining ground. They turn for home. On the outside, here comes John Henry. John Henry on the outside between horses Perot. It's the one third at the rail. And down the stretch they come. On the rail, it's Perot. John Henry on the outside. Those two are going to battle the wire. John Henry on the outside. Perot at the rail. Noses apart. The flag is up. And they're off. John Henry toward the inside going right for the lead. 
Obratsovi up on the outside to challenge, and now Obratsovi takes the lead. John Henry second by two. Zor is racing in third position. Fiestero is fourth at this point. Along the inside, Good Lord races fifth, and prove it, baby. Down the hill now. Obratsovi in front by a length and three quarters. John Henry is right there second as they move across the main track and to the top of the stretch for the first time. Obratsovi in front by a length and three quarters. John Henry is second and then a gap of eight lengths. Back to Zor racing third. Fiestero is fourth with Prove It Baby on the outside. Good Lord toward the rail. Obratsovi in front by a length and a quarter. That's John Henry racing second by eight. Zor third at the rail by a head. Fiestero on the outside. Then a gap of five back to Good Lord and Prove It Baby is sixth as they round the clubhouse turn. Obratsovi in front, maintaining that lead now by a length and three quarters with John Henry in pursuit second. A gap of five and Zor racing third ahead as Fiestero inches up a closer fourth on the outside. A gap of six to Good Lord and the trailer Prove It Baby. Three quarters of a mile in one minute ten and four fifth seconds as they move down the back stretch. It's Obratsovi still showing the way now with a one length advantage and John Henry on the outside is second by four and a half. Zor races third by a hit. Fiestero on the outside, fourth at this point. Then a gap of four to Good Lord and Prove It Baby. Midway around the turn, Obratsovi holds on to that lead by a length and a quarter and John Henry is second. Zor coming on a closer third. Fiestero is fourth, turning for home. Obratsovi on the inside. John Henry coming on to challenge, and down the stretch they come. Here comes John Henry up on the outside, taking the lead. Obratsovi back to second, Zor third, and Fiestero on the rail. Coming through the stretch, it's John Henry in front. And there they go. Sylvieville for the lead, Ali Fox on the outside second. Lucens breaks third, John Henry is fourth. Then it's Norwick and Wolver Heights. The end of the upper turn, Sylvieville by two lengths, Ali Fox by three, John Henry by a length. On the rail, that's Lucens, followed to the rail by Wolver Heights and Norwick. The end of the stretch the first time, Sylvieville setting the pace by two and a half lengths. Ali Fox is second by two and a half, John Henry third. By a five, Lucens is fourth by a length, and it's Wolver Heights in Norwick. They race past the grandstand the first time, and Sylvieville has command by three lengths. Ali Fox second by a length and a half. John Henry tucked in on the rail third. A large gap back to Lucens in fourth, and it's Wolver Heights on the rail in Norwick. The end of the clubhouse turns Sylvieville under a comfortable lead by a length and a half. On the outside, Ali Fox is second by half length. John Henry right there, third by five lengths. Lucens by three quarters of a length. Wolver Heights and Norwick. They turn into the back stretch, and Sylvieville stays there by a length. John Henry now comes to second, three quarters of a length. Ali Fox is third by five. Then it's Lucens by a length and a half. Wolver Heights and Norwick trails. They continue down the back stretch, and Sylvieville stays there by a length and a half. John Henry is second by a length. Ali Fox on the outside is third by Ted Langs, coming back to Sense over Heights in Norwick. Into the turn, and Sylvieville keeps that lead by a length and a half. John Henry inching up on the inside, second by three. Ali Fox is third by two and a half. Lou Sense over Heights in Norwick. Turning into the stretch, of Sylvieville there by a half a length. Here's John Henry up to challenge now on the outside, and second by five. Lou Sense is third. They're in deep stretch, and John Henry has the lead by three quarters of a length on the inside. Sylvieville is second by five. Lucens is third. It's the great John Henry in front. And John Henry wins the Golden Gate Handicap two lengths to four. And they're off. Sylvieville and Pair of Deuces are heading toward the front. Pair of Deuces gets the lead now by a half length. Sylvieville second by two. Vincent Benet is racing third by a neck. Cralius is fourth. 
One length back, that's John Henry in fifth. By a length and a half, Galanvert on the rail is sixth. Then it's Vigorous Vigors, load the cannons, and Gato del Sol. Around the far turn, for the first time, pair of deuces with the lead by a little more than a length. Sylvieville racing a bit wide is second by five. Tralius is racing third by two. Vince St. Benet is fourth. Then it's two lengths farther back to John Henry in fifth, racing along the rail. Then the final four are Lanvere along the inside, Vigorous Vigors, then load the cannons in eighth, and Gato del Sol. Coming under the wire for the first time. Pair of deuces with the lead by a length and a half. Sylvieville is racing second by three. John Henry moving up a bit closer now. John Henry on the rail, racing third by a head. Kralius on the outside is fourth by three. Vincent Benet now races fifth. Galanvert to the inside is sixth. Now inching up a bit, followed two and a half back by Vigorous Vigors. Load the cannons and Gato del Sol continue at the back. As they begin the run down the back stretch. Pair of deuces now with a short lead of only a neck. Sylvieville is drawing alongside, then it's two lengths back to Kralius and John Henry battling for third. Two and a half lengths farther back, that's Vin St. Benet in fifth by one length. Galanvert on the rail is sixth. Load the Cannons is now making a bid between horses. Then it's Gato del Sol and Vigorous Vigors. They're on the far turn now. And pair of deuces in front throughout has a one length lead. Sylvieville is holding second. John Henry has been inching up at the rail, now a clear third. Load the Cannons is racing fourth. Then along the rail, it's Galanvert with Gato del Sol on the extreme outside. They're at the top of the stretch. Pair of deuces with a two-length lead. Then it's John Henry between horses, Gato del Sol, and load the cannons. As they come down the stretch, John Henry now gets a short lead. It's John Henry with the lead near the wire. Load the cannons, racing second. Then pair of deuces third. John Henry in front. And John Henry keeps rolling along, winning the sunset by three quarters of a... The turf is firm. The final horse is going into the gate. Win and Majesty's Prince. Majesty's Prince right behind the starting gate being let in. The assistant starter stands. Here we go. Zero. Win is going for the lead. On the inside is John Henry. On the outside, Majesty's Prince in third. John Henry has the lead by half. Win in second by a length. Now four bases is third and the mayor all along is on the rail in fourth. About two to Majesty's Prince and Fort Knightley is sixth. John Henry has the lead by a length. Win on the outside, second by a neck. Four bases on the hedge in third by two. Then all along, Majesty's Prince and Fort Knightley remains in six. The first quarter, 25 flat. They now enter the clubhouse turn. John Henry has the lead by a length. Win on the outside, second by a neck. Four bases on the hedge, third by two. All along remains in fourth. About four to Majesty's Prince, two again to Fort Knightley. They're on to the back stretch. John Henry still leads by a length and a half. Win on the outside, second by a neck. Four bases on the hedge is third by a length. All along is in fourth by four. Then Majesty's Prince and Fort Knightley are still together. The half and 48 and four. John Henry still leads on the hedge by a length. Win on the outside, second by about a length. Four bases on the hedge is third by a half. The mayor all along is now moving up on the outside. All along has taken third by a neck. Four bases, fourth on the hedge by a length. Then Majesty's Prince and Fort Knightley. They enter the far turn. Three quarters, 13 flat. Wins on the outside of John Henry. Those two hook up. They have two on the mare all along. Four bases is dropping back on the rail. Gaining ground on the outside. Majesty's Prince also moving up his fourth nightly. They approach the top of the stretch. John Henry on the rail still leads by a neck on the outside. Win is in second. They're at the top of the stretch and John Henry still has a lead by ahead. Win on the outside. Second by two. All along is third. Then Majesty's Prince. John Henry looking great past the eight pole, lead still by ahead. Win on the outside, won't give up, goes right alongside in second. Three to the mayor, all along, then Majesty Prince. John Henry on the rail, still has a lead. Win on the outside, second. John Henry in front. It's John Henry, an outstanding gelding, the winner with Chris McCarran by about a neck.
along the rail going to the late Jack Slade is there way on the outside here comes Desert Wine passing the sands out Majinski secret moves between horses Royal Heroin down along the rail Royal Heroin three parts of a length Majinski secret right there second by two Desert Wine third John Henry fourth to the outside, hot touch in fifth, Ahar in six, Muscatite, racing seven, Majesty's Prince in eight, Crystal Glitters, down along the rail, ninth, Morjan, skimming the rail in tenth, then it's Jack Slade, eleventh, and the gray horse, Gato Del Sol, trails the field, about seven furlongs to go, Royal Heroin, bouncing along with that one length lead, Najinsky Secret, right on her heel, second, a length, John Henry, saving ground in third, Muscatite, between horses now in fourth, Desert Wine, out there fifth by two and a half lengths. Then it is Hot Touch in six, Majesty's Prince to the outside, seven to hard down along the rail, racing now in eighth, they head up the back stretch. Royal Heroin uh, commands the race with that one length lead. Uh, still right there, second, Najinsky, Secret, coming on again, John Henry down along the rail in third, Muscatite racing fourth, Hot Touch joins the leaders on the inside now in fifth, followed by Mahar racing in sixth. Now they swing around the fire turn. Royal Harrow in three parts of a Lingdenjinski secret. Right alongside second by two. John Henry coming on now third. Muscatite racing fourth. Hot touch to the outside now in fifth. They turn for home. The Philly is still there. Royal Harrow here they come spinning out of the turn. Royal Harrow has a one length lead. Majinski secret. John Henry like gangbusters followed by Gata Del Sol. Down the stretch at the eighth ball. second, Dijinsky secret is third, but here he is, a living legend, John Henry, by two on the wire. Three. And they're up. From between horses, Castle Guard, there goes Wynn, charging up on the outside, Wynn takes the lead, Gateshead quickly to challenge early, now those two heads apart, Gateshead on the outside, Wynn at the rail, second, a gap of two and a half lengths, along the inside, Hero's Honor is third by half a length. Four bases in fourth by two. Then comes Castle Guard racing fifth. Who's for dinner is sixth. McCann seventh. John Henry on the rail is eighth as the field moves past the stands for the first time. Win at the rail leads by a head. Charging up on the outside, it's Gateshead. And now Gateshead to the front, three parts of a length. Hero's Honor takes up the chase on the outside. Win at the rail back to third. Four bases in fourth. Who's for dinner between horses fifth? Castle Guard tucked in at the rail, racing sixth ahead. McCann is seventh, then John Henry eighth. A gap of some seven lengths back to the next flight. It's Nasipur, two back to Ballad two, Papal Bull, and Pin Puller is twelfth. They move on to the backstretch, and it's Hero's Honor and Jerry Bailey aboard, in front by a length and three quarters. Win on the outside, back into the second spot. On the outside, four bases, third by one, Gates head fourth. Who's for dinner, rallying up on the outside now, fifth? John Henry looks for racing room. McCann on the outside, Castle Guard at the rail. Going to the far turn. Hero's Honor has the lead, three parts of a length. Win on the outside is in the second spot by two. Four bases, third ahead. Who's for dinner is fourth, and the old man John Henry is fifth at this point. Then comes Castle Guard and McCann approaching the top of the stretch. Hero's Honor on the inside leads by a head. On the outside, it's Win. Middle of the racetrack, four bases. John Henry out in the far outside, and he's flying. And down the stretch they come. The old man, John Henry, takes command. By a length, who's for dinner on the inside, now charging up second. Win at the rail is third. Here they come to the finish, and here's John Henry in front. 